on today's Mini Cooper S episode, checkmate edition or not? That is the question, and I got my answer. Two, I refurbish the wheels. Three, I get a performance tune-up. Four, I get the steering wheel shaft replaced because it was binding up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike the Ball of Dawns, and I buy and sell cars as a hobby, and I bring you guys along with me showing the pros and cons of each vehicle I buy. This is episode number three of my 2006 Mini Cooper S Checkmate Edition. I say that with this quotation because checkmate or checkmate not? That is the question, and I got my answer. Um, I bought this car a few weeks ago, maybe about a month ago, off a really cool guy. He had a really cool collection of Vespas. And this was his toy car. He had um, a truck and all that stuff. So this was just his fun car. He had it for four years. And being a Mini Cooper guy or um, owner, these cars are expensive, very expensive. And he spent over $5,500 in four years. And that's mostly because of labor. Um, these cars can be a headache for me. It's a love-hate relationship. I love these cars when they don't have any problems. Um, but as you can see in today's videos, it's, it's a slight headache. All right, so first off, I had the wheels refurbished, so let's take a look. It feels good, man. It feels good, right? All right, yo, yo. I'm in the light at the end of the tunnel. Paper stacks, yeah, I got them in the bundles. Harry Potter breaking bread with a muggle. They said I would've made it, now they looking puzzled. They said I would've taken, I would go on hustle. Get the bag, it ain't never get a fumble. In the jack, but we came up from the bottom. Through the cracks of the light pour in. Have a blast, let the drinks pour in. Take a risk like it's a short day. Going in, yeah, I'm going all in. Getting fooled out, yeah, you can bring a friend. Dive right in, let's go. Come forward and dip in the toe. Let the rhythm take control. It's going down, going down tonight, yeah. Dive right in, let's go. Come forward and dip in What's going on guys? This is Ray with RMD Wheel Solutions here with Mike. He had a Mini Cooper he just bought and the wheels didn't look so great. So uh, he sent me pictures of them to let me know what I was getting my hands into. And I seen them, common stuff you see around here in New England. The salt, you know, from the weather that happens in the winter time. But anyways, he gave them to me. You know, I made them look brand new, better than before, as you can see. And um, he liked it and I was pretty happy with the job. So um, you guys can contact me for any future repairs you might have any questions about, maybe a bent wheel, a crack wheel, or curb rash, or corrosion. You know, contact me at RMD Wheel Solutions on Facebook or on Instagram, or you can just Google me, RMD Wheel Solutions LLC. I'll pop up and you can give me a buzz. Also, my number, 978-866-7331. Hope you guys um, have a great day and um, take care. Ray, thank you very much. I appreciate all your help. Um, if you live in the Boston area, New Hampshire, border, somewhere around there, he is in the Lowell area, so check him out. All right, second, after episode number two, I had my valve cover replaced and I had my front right shock replaced and the car was running a little rough. Uh, check engine light will pop on and I was like, you know what, probably need to tune up. So I said, you know what, let's do a high performance ignition system. So let's take a look.
much pounds? Ten. Really? Yeah. What are you doing, Mike? That was nine. I'm only at 14. Wow. Seven. All right, so after that, the car ran pretty damn good, and I was, I was loving it until the check engine light came back on. When I got to a red light, it still had a little, just a little bit, just a, just a little bit of roughness, just a little bit. Um, so the car had to go back to the shop anyways because I had to put a steering wheel shaft in it. So let's do the steering wheel shaft. Let's get, a, let's get that over with right now. So take a look. So I cleared the coat again to see if there's any issues. The car was still running rough. I bring it back to the shop and we check the compression. All right, so this was running on 25 to 75 PSI compression. Let's take a look. That's dead too, buddy. Like 75. Dude, this must not be working. This one says it's 25. This is 20 on that one. All right, that was a faulty test. Dave's compression reader was off, so we went to AutoZone and we did the test again. So let's take a look. Hit 110. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> True. Like, there's no way this thing's running at 50. Much better. 120. At least 25. Much better. We are still running number three. Um, it's it's coming up as a check engine light, and that's the the issue. Uh, selling the number three. So that's for the next video. Now that steering shaft that we just did, I got a Dorman part 
and it's not, it has play in it. So it has to go back to have that done. So that's two things that I'm not happy with, okay? If you buy an aftermarket pod, sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. And this one I had to get from Mini Koopa, so that just came in today. So these two issues will be in the next video. All right, so I get my answer. Is this a checkmate or not? And I get an answer by a gentleman named Joe. I'm gonna leave everything right here so you can read it. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing because there's a lot to read. Basically, this is a high option 2006 Mini Cooper S. And whoever owned it before, simply put the decals on, all right? Um, I don't have the flame wheels, even though the previous owner said that he had them and sold them. Joe's convinced that it was simply a tribute car, you know, because of the space blue paint. The gray top, gray mirrors. I thought that was like some kind of special edition paint. To find out in 2006, it's very common. So I'm okay with that because deep in my heart, I knew it wasn't, even though I was hoping it to be. You know, obviously I was hoping it to be, but um, it doesn't have that two tone steering wheel. It doesn't have the dash and all that stuff. So I'm okay with that. I'm fine. I was just, you know, seeing there was somebody that actually can answer my question and the question was answered. And Joe, thank you very much, I appreciate it. He is a Mini Koopa lover. He has quite a few right now that he's restoring. And um, so, next video on this car, we're gonna see what the problem is with spot plug number three. I think we know what it is, it should be fixed. The steering wheel shaft from Mini Koopa, it's, they dropped it off today. So we'll get those two into the video. And I still have to do a little bit of body work in the, on the rear trunk lid. Uh, so there's going to be a few more videos on the Mini Cooper S. This, by the way, if you're just tuning in, does have, does have a Alter, 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 15% supercharger pulley. It has an Alter intake and an Alter exhaust, so it sounds phenomenal. And I'm having so much fun with this car, I really am. Um, the steering shaft, the reason why it was replaced because when I would take a left, it did not want to return. It was binding and that's dangerous. Um, therefore, that's why I replaced it and I'm gonna replace it again. All right, so until the next video, everybody. Ball don't out.